What's up everybody? I'm in Vegas right now for SEMA. You can see behind me. About to take you inside. If you're new to SEMA, SEMA up until 1970 stood for Speed Equipment Manufacturing Association. After 1970, due to government regulations, typical, they changed their name to have a broader appeal. It's still SEMA, but it's an acronym for Specialty Equipment Market Association. I'm not gonna show you everything in SEMA because this place is city blocks, it's huge. It's, you can get lost here. But I am gonna give you my biased review of a couple cars that I wanna see. Some will be friends cars. Rotary content warning now. Let's go. Ooh. Got the badge? Before we even got in the show, what do you know? TJ Hunt's RX-7 project. And I am hyped to see this thing complete. Last time I saw it, I was at his warehouse in San Diego and was far from being done. They had just installed the new engine from PPRE and Mickey was getting everything plumbed and hooked up for all the fluids. This thing looks incredible in person. I know it's been getting a lot of hate. Rotary fans and owners seem to be very particular, which is great. There's a lot of awesome ones out there and they're quite a collector's item at this point. So it's cool to see good craftsmanship. But seeing this thing complete in person only proves that Mickey and TJ put a ton of hard work into this car making it look amazing. The carbon work on the car is so well done. You've got this OEM style rear spoiler with a carbon valance on the back. Nice touch down here with the blast pipe. The way this front lip turned out after trimming the sides off, it aligns perfectly with the rear side skirts that are also carbon and comes together super well. Last time I saw it, it was all white and it seriously looks incredible, especially paired with the RE hood how they've painted it, but they've left exposed carbon just in the vents. It's super subtle and clean and tasteful. Ooh. Okay. What's the type of stuff you see here? All right, we're going in. If you don't see me within 24 hours, send help. Hi. Hi. Morning. so much style that he's just personally put into it with the help of his sponsors to make such an insane RX-7. But I know I've already showed you so many RX-7s, kill me, whatever, I'm showing you this one. The reflective vinyl, this white, just pops in pictures and all the chrome. So it makes for such rad content. That poke and fitment, though. I'm sure every person at SEMA in the YouTube world is going to be showing Adam LZ's S15. It's badass, but 
There are a couple little details that I love about this car that I want to show you specifically. So one detail I always love to see just from my tuning background is fuel systems. Radium products are insanely clean and well designed. The second thing that I love about this car is a removable roof. So, let's scoot back. As you know, the S15 is a hard top, right? Coupe. But, if you step in closer and you check out these little Allens, this carbon fiber roof is removable so that you can drop the top, shred some drift events, not to mention having 700 plus horsepower. Wait, 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 wait. An S14 made it into the show? The kooky front end is my favorite. And maybe I'm partial because I have one. But the way that these lights come to a sharp point is so aggressive. And this bumper, the way they flare out in a lot of these kits is amazing. And this paint job. Of course they got this here. Ryan Literal's kooky is amazing. And check out these Heritage three-piece wheels. These are so rad on this car. I love the directional wheels on a drift car. Is this even real life? Like I said, this is city blocks. It's a street. What? Another building. is how clean and how well designed it is. It's like, he did a super good job giving this bug style while being super functional and tough. If you look at like these fenders right here, how they sweep back to a point, and you know, he didn't even have to put this there, but it looks super good. Super good craftsmanship. Boxing this in, colorways. If you look up here, everything is just run super uniform and clean. It's like that everywhere. posted somewhere around here and I cannot find it but I'm going to yes found it Ooh. the first R34 GTR I've seen in person, surprisingly. And it's amazing. It's not as big as I thought. It is beautiful. But, Advan is also crushing it. 
with their dry carbon game. Check this S2000 out. Look closely. See a little turbo under there. <laughs> Ooh. Look closer, supercharger. I posted this car on our Instagram yesterday and everyone went pretty nuts. So I'm hyped to show you a little closer up on it in this episode. But this is one of my favorite cars at SEMA. Um, the FC is usually, you know, it's, it's classic shape, but it, there's only so much like aftermarket aero and offering for it that make it really look good and they nailed it on this one. This is Kai Mira's Rocket Bunny FC RX-7. Check it out. this car and the reasons why I think most people do now and are, you know are huge fans of this Pandem kit is because the lines are a perfect mix of a boxy classic wide body which fits the FC so well but if you look you know it's got a little bit of that modern bubble to it because during this time cars were you know kind of transforming very square into more of a futuristic shape so it just matches perfectly the fitment's amazing the interior is just super simple and clean you can see it through that window now a lot of people are hating on this part of the kit because you have to run these rally style lights in the grill. But I love rally cars and I think it's an awesome touch. Okay, as if your goal wing isn't baller enough. This kit and this E30 is designed by the Kaiser. If you follow him at all on Instagram, these are a nice touch. It's a theme that runs throughout the car. If you come here to the back. Super loud in here because Toyo has sick taste in music, but a car that you can just follow the lines on is so amazing.
How hyped are you right now that so your car's in SEMA <laughs> and on the TV? <laughs> in the NK booth, nonetheless. Dude, that is Noah? What's up, dog? What's up, guys? We are gonna check out Noah's. Not new car. You guys have seen this car before, but it looks like a completely different car. Yeah. There's a couple things that Noah's changed since last time. But the motor's still good, so all you guys that hate on rotaries, it's still good. Same motor. Haters, where you at? Yep. Rotary haters. This is like, dude, this is like the fifth rotary that I've recorded video of today. So hopefully people like RX-7 because yeah. that's what this is about. Mm -hmm, definitely. So since you've seen this car last, it's got some new wheels, new livery. It's not broken anymore. The rear wheel is on the car. Yeah. Yeah, the subframe is intact. It's not ripped out anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, Noah, show us. Okay, everyone's always hating on the front poke because it has wife's fab angle. Yeah. Wife's fab. Wife's fab. Wife's fab. <laughs> wife's fab. Wife's fab angle. Yeah, so I'll explain you guys a little bit of why it has that. So, as you guys can see, right, it, it has wheel poke, it has a big gap, it's like three fingers, and uh, the actual fender and sides drum, here's a clearance for the wheel. But the reason that it's like that is because when you get wise fab, it's a whole knuckle, upper control arm, lower control arm that is designed in CAD to function properly so you can get more angles. So I have about 76 degrees of angle, which is pretty gnarly. Like, it's, it's pretty close to 90, it's insane. Yeah. But it's um, the reason that it has the poke is because it pushes the wheels out 50 millimeters on each side. So imagine if you put a 50 millimeter wheel spacer on both sides of your car, it's going to push the wheels out a lot. And the reason for that is when you go to full lock, if your wheel is further away, it has more clearance to move, and uh, obviously all the arms are clearanced. And so, Wisefab is, like I said, a, uh, a knuckle that's designed in CAD, not like a cut knuckle setup. So it, the, the geometry on it, the tire is almost perfectly flat and center the whole time. So when right. you turn the wheel, it doesn't camber over or camber in, it stays completely flat. So that's why you have to do that extra clearancing and have that wheel gap. Which makes Rad. it ugly, ugly, but I'm a person that likes function over like the way it looks. I'd yeah. rather be able to drive my car as hard as possible, bang limiter, get on someone's door, then have it look cool, but like not drive very well. Totally, and that's why I wanted to point it out is because Noah gets all these questions, and when I post this car, people blow me up like, why is the fitment so bad? It might be parked on carpet right now, but it is not a show car. This is an X Formula Drift car from Falcon. And it looks so good on these new wheels, dude. <laughs> there it is, the old. And then back in there, you can see a little bit of the teal. Sneaky peaks. Dude, which wheels are these? These look good, dude. The PF 05s. So it's their NK's new wheel. Uh, they just dropped it. This is their release of the wheel. I don't know if they have them in stock yet, but uh, it honestly is a really, really cool wheel. Um, you might not be able to see it necessarily in the video, but it has yeah, a, let's try. It has like a flake to it, so you can see how it's like pretty glittery. So in the sunlight, these wheels look very, oh, yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the rears are my favorite because of the offset. Offset? Is it staggered? <laughs> uh, no, it's a, or yeah, I guess kind of like size-wise, but mm -hmm. they're both 18s. Okay. So it's like both 18s, it's an 18 <laughs> by eight and a half plus 15. Or no, sorry, plus, oh, it's, plus it, 35. And then the rear is plus 15. Yeah, you can see it, it's subtle. Yeah. But, rad. Dude, the new livery looks good. Thank you. <laughs> like it looks way better in person than I expected dude that's what everyone says I'm Not hyped on it yeah <laughs> used to having zero body panels exactly everything Ooh. always ripped off check this person. out Ooh, I love this rear tube dude. Down inside there. 
It's the exhaust is on the floor. Four inch? Uh, yeah, four inch all the way. So it's so right, loud. right off the turbo, four inch all the way back, straight pipe. I actually used to have a three, it should be four inch to a three and a half inch muffler. And then uh, when I made my new exhaust, everything didn't fit properly. So I was just like, all right, I'm going for a straight pipe. Yeah. Like, it's going to be loud and it yes. sounds really aggressive. Love it. If you want to see more of Noah's car, Noah, what's your channel? Uh, YouTube channel is just Noah Nelson. You'll see it's all RX7 stuff. And then uh, my Instagram is Noah underscore Nelson underscore. So I'll link him below. Jeff, what's yours? Jace. Can Jace. J-A-S-C-A-N-F-I-E-L-D. He takes the fire photos. He, uh, yeah. If it wasn't for him, my car wouldn't be cool. <laughs> Chase makes it look good. Noah does the driving. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's easy when I it's, look it's, it's a, it's a Look at this combo. What the hell? Yeah. I just saw Jordan was shooting on like automatic mode, like a chotch, so I fixed it. So it's probably a little bit better. I, Jordan's telling me to make some memes, but I don't know what kind of memes he wants. Calvin's the meme boy. Look at it. Look at You look like a king right now. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking to. Bitch, I'm tired. I ate a lot of ashes today. Oh, it's nice, dude. You heard it here first, dude. Nice. <laughs> All right, that's it. I am toast. My legs are sore. My feet hurt. I walked five miles. I'm done for today. That was Seema. I hope you saw some stuff you liked. And if you did, please subscribe, hit the like button, and help us grow. Stay tuned, there's more rad stuff to happen.